this is a letter of appreciation from Senator Georgia. And um, I just want to say thank you and I'd like to present that to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, I'm going to get something. Thank you very much. And I also have a certificate of recognition for the opportunity that you've provided for all the students in the section and all the teachers that have opportunities for this time. Thank you very much. Most great. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Good to see you. Hi, Hi. 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 Friends from Congress, distinguished guests, we are here today to call the nation's attention and commitment to a problem that dis diminishes all of us. And in declaring this month to be Child Support Enforcement Month, you, Mr. President, are introducing the country to a new era of concern for American children. Syndicated columnist Joan Beck has said that fathers who won't support their own children are the single biggest cause of poverty in the United States in the 1980s. Substand substandard enforcement of child support hurts the taxpayer. It hurts the mother who's vulnerable and alone and faced with two really disgraceful alternatives, to forfeit the money she's entitled to or to incur costly legal bills in pursuit of it. The solution lies in the bill which was shaped in this very room with congressional input with your very active participation, Mr. President. It takes dead aim on cheating and delinquent parents those parents who should pay must be made to pay. I believe this bill will decrease prolonged court disputes and streamline the, the child support system. Most important, it focuses on the needs of the victims, the innocents of America. The most fitting way to commemorate National Child Support Enforcement Month would be the passage of H.R. 3546, the President's bill to make child support real support. It's now my privilege to present the President of the United States. Margaret, thank you very much. It's a shocking fact that over half of all women who receive child support orders receive less than what they're due. In fact, 28% of these women and their children receive no payments at all. There are children in this country who are owed $4 billion from delinquent parents. This is an absolutely unacceptable situation. Secretary Heckler has called it a growing national disgrace, and I agree completely. A parent's obligation to a child is one which must be, not be abrogated, and this is not only a financial debt, it's a moral one. As governor of California, I made sure that our state had tough child support enforcement laws. I even came before the Congress to lobby for an effective national system to protect the welfare of our nation's children. Today, in proclaiming August as Child Support Enforcement Month, I hope to focus the nation's attention on these children who are at the mercy of thoughtless parents. Let's make it our national goal to achieve 100% collection from the absent, neglectful parents. August will kick off this drive, but let me say slack enforcement or child, self, child support payments uh, will never be tolerated. The Federal Child Support Enforcement Program itself can stand improvement. And I want to thank Secretary Heckler and the composers of our proposal for their diligent and compassionate work. We must reform the federal child support enforcement system so that it can effectively serve the cheated children of America. 
I urge the Congress to pass the legislation that we've introduced. We want parents who are deadbeats to pay up and deliver on their responsibilities. And I hope signing this resolution will draw attention not only to the problem, but to the solution. And now, thank you for being here, and I will sign the resolution. And hopefully one day we'll sign the legislation.